Today we pick the ultimate chocolate chip. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Big news! Our studio is frozen. And our first ever live tour special is available now for pre-order on iTunes and Amazon, and it's gonna hit YouTube and most cable TV providers on Saturday, December 22nd. So, this is our stage show, plus a never before seen up close and personal mini doc of our creative process and our travels on tour. It's called Red and Link's Tour Mythicality, live in Los Angeles. Pre-order it now. Yes! Now, my favorite food is peanut butter on a spoon buried deep in a glass of chocolate milk. Okay. Red's favorite food is whatever he's currently eating. Can't argue but with that. <laughs> the only person who matters this month is Santa Claus, and his favorite food is cookies. Yes, and he works so hard, the least we can do is give the man the best cookies on the market. It's time for... I did it all for the cookie! Come on! The cookie! Come on! So you can take the cookie and rank it one to ten! Rank it one to ten! Rank it one to ten! Here's how it works. We're gonna blindly taste six rounds of store-bought chocolate chip cookies and then rank them on a scale of one to ten! We're gonna take the average of our two scores to determine the best, best one. Best one! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're also gonna be playing against each other to see who can accurately guess the cookie by brand. And whoever guesses the most brands correctly will become the captain of cookies. Yeah. The cookies that we're gonna be tasting are Keebler, Pepperidge Farm, Chips Ahoy, Famous Amos, Mrs. Fields, and Kroger Chipmates, a popular generic brand of cookie. All right, let's chocolate them chips. Round one. As you can see, we can't. And all of our chocolate chip cookies will be being brought to us on the patent pending Santa Sweet Sleigh of Surprise. Woo, bring in the first one, Santa. Rudolph, run, run. I'm smelling cookie. Mm, it's laid Ooh. cookies. Oh. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm eating like napkin. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, wow. Mm. I got a tall cookie. Mm. Oh, oh, I got. I hate two in my mouth. I'm gonna try to talk with a cookie in my mouth, because I can't use my hands. I don't mm -hmm. know why we can't use our hands. Well, you don't want to have finger information. Finger only, information? Only mouth information. Mm. Hmm. It's a crunchy cookie. It's but a not crunchy too, cookie. It's not too crunchy. Well, now you're not, you're not a fan of a, of a crunchy cookie. You complain about how dry it is all the time, but I think I, that's gonna happen over and over again. I mean, I like cookie dough. I, if I had my way, you wouldn't cook a cookie ever. You would just tub it up and, and consume it. Um, okay. That's not a bad tasting cookie though, and I'm trying to factor in girth. You always gotta factor in girth. Because some, you know, <laughs> some are smaller than others. Um, Man. Yeah, that was, a, that was a good mouth width. This is tough. I have a guess, but I'm, I feel like I'm well, we gotta rank them first. I'm blind. Oh, okay. Uh, um, it's a good cookie. I, I like a crispy cookie. I like the, a soft cookie. I like in between. You know. You know me. Um, that's a pretty solid cookie. Not great, mm -hmm. not horrible. I'm gonna say seven. Six for me. Okay. Ready to guess? Yep. Three, two, one. Chips Famous Ahoy? Famous Amos. Chips Ahoy? Hey, that's way too big to be a Chips Ahoy. Really? <laughs> yeah. When was the last time you had a Chips Ahoy? Stay out of my business. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. It's not that I don't like a crunchy cookie, I just prefer to soften it in milk before eating it. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. oh, I popped that one right in my mouth. Much smaller cookie. Hmm. It has a signature flavor. It's very, hmm. hold on, there's a hair in mine. What is that? There's not a hair in mine. Maybe that's not intentional. That's the Keebler elf hair, I bet. Oh, I can see it. I can see the logic in that. That's a better cookie. In my mind, that's a better cookie. It, Still crispy. It's got, um, the, the chocolate doesn't overwhelm, and so the cookie part actually makes it taste better, I agree. I'm giving this one a seven. Uh, I'm going up, but not too far, to an eight. Yeah, it's a smaller cookie, but it's, Smaller than I would have expected. Hmm, man. Smaller but taller. Mm. Ready? Mm. All right. Three, two, one. Chips Ahoy. <laughs> Kroger. I think this is a generic Kroger. I think I'm gonna say Chips Ahoy 
every time. You go for it. I'd love for you to do that. I'm gonna get one right this time. Round three. What I'm learning is that I'm not good at identifying cookies. I, I need to eat more chocolate chip cookies. Maybe they were both for Chips Ahoy. Uh, 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 mm. See, this is a bigger cookie. These are oriented differently. I'm gonna have to use my tongue. I don't know what's in my mouth, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what's happening? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. This is not a good tasting cookie. You don't like it? Mm mm. I'm down in like three territory. Really? Mm hmm. It's a bigger cookie, so I don't think it's generic, but it tastes like generic. Mm. What I would think generic would taste like. I can taste something in the yeah. consistency that reminds me of something else. <laughs> I, I, I don't like this cookie, but I am gonna be a little more generous. It, it started to taste better. I'm gonna give it a four. It has a really good aftertaste. Yeah, it got a little better for me. Think about the way it tastes right now. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say a seven. I don't mind this cookie at all. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We differ, man. Ready for the guess? Yeah, I think I've, I've got a strong guess on this one. It's a big one. Three, two, one. Pepperidge, Pepperidge Farm. Farm. Yeah, yep. I feel good about that because I, the packaging of a Pepperidge. I know what. I Pepperidge know packaging. What the farm looks like, but not the cookie. Round four. I think the, the deal is, the reason I don't mind a crispy cookie is because I bring the moisture to the experience. You know what I'm saying? That's what spit's for. Oh, gosh. You know, it's crispy and well, then if it my spit was milk, I'd be with you, but it's not. I've tried, trust me. Oh, hold on. Totally different flavor pro smell profile. Well, there's more than that. Huh, it's soft. <laughs> so get your spit, because this one is soft. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> me having trouble. <laughs> What's happening, dude? <laughs> you going full cookie monster over there? Me having trouble getting to this one. Man. <laughs> Don't ever go full Cookie Monster. <laughs> now listen, this is my jam, because this is a chewy cookie, and I love chewy cookies. In, in fact, mm. I prefer Chewy Chips Ahoy, which are weird. They even taste weird, and I don't care because I love the consistency so much. But you cannot deny the fact, especially after having tasted some of those other ones, Here's my they cookie. use a weird chemical, man. Oh. They use a weird chemical to get it to stay soft. You're right. You should always be suspicious of something that stays soft. My world is a little shook because I love the consistency, but. It does not taste good, man. I have to be honest. I never thought I would say this. Three. It doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste good. It tastes like an experiment that went wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I usually don't eat these with a blindfold on. Bring the moisture yourself. That's what should be on the side of every chocolate chip bag. I can't believe this, but I'm gonna give it a four. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! And I know what this is. You've seen the light, Neil! Okay, three, two, one. Keebler! Soft batch. <laughs> Soft batch from Keebler. Yeah, bro. My whole childhood I was eating these things. I know about them. The elves knew me personally. I've avoided them for years. Link, I gotta say, you're coming in a second last in these in these uh, past two epi uh, episodes. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, my you guess. know, we gotta, it's on the one and then we guess. Oh, I don't. Yeah, yeah. You're copying me, that's what's happening. No, I don't, I, don't, I, I don't care what he says. I'm not listening to him. Oh, really? Round five. Now I know my answers have been delayed and they were the same as yours, but I'm not Suspicious. cheating. I'm just, I'm slow at giving answers, <laughs> okay. but I'm, I'm locked in in my brain. Right, well she's giving you three three seconds to, <laughs> to say it. Give me five You know what, time, give him Stevie. five. Give him five seconds, Stevie. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Oh, uh -oh. This is also a soft cookie. Hmm, uh-oh. What is this soft cookie? Somebody else has a soft cookie. Now, I know that Chips Ahoy has a soft batch, but I think that they went with what was the best selling ones from each brand. That was my understanding. And there's no way that soft batch outsells the regular Chips Ahoy. Well, let's rate how good we think this cookie is. This is better. I don't. Distinctly hmm. better than the previous soft cookie. Now, it's still not great. It's, I, it's I'm gonna give it a five. 
I'm going to go with a solid five because it's not in the crispiness territory. It has a little chemically taste to it, but not as bad as the last one. You're, you're right. I agree wholeheartedly, but I'm not cheating. I'm going to give it a six because I kind of like all of those things, even the slightly chemically. You like the chemicals. Yeah. Mm. You ready? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, Chips one. Ahoy! Keebler! <laughs> Oh, you th you went with soft. You doubled up on the soft batch. Yeah, yeah. No. I know Keebler makes a soft batch. I would. I don't think they put soft batch chips ahoy in this in this mix. I'm just playing the playing strategies. Nope, nope, nope. Got him. Round, Round six. six. Okay, please deliver the final cookie of Christmas. Last cookie's here. The end is near. Which is the fast chocolate chip test? Chocolate chip, 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 Oh, another cookie! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! That's a big cookie down here. Oh, uh, uh, this is the biggest cookie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I don't even need to finish that one to know what it is. Hello. <laughs> That's a cakey cookie. Mm-hmm. Oh, is is there more? Oh, hey. Hold on. This mm -hmm. is a tasty cookie. <laughs> That's a good cookie. Wow, it's got crispiness. And softness. I mean, mm. oh. I'm, not, I'm not gonna say it's a perfect cookie, but I'm gonna give it a strong eight. I'm gonna give it a nine, Fran. All right, Fran. You want your five or your three? Uh, probably five. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Mrs. Mrs. Fields! <laughs> you said Mrs. Fields, famous Amos, man. Yeah, man Mrs. That's a Fields. big old cookie. Famous, he ain't that famous with me, I guess. <laughs> All right, you can remove your blindfolds. So the runner up for best <sighs> cookie goes to Famous Amos, and okay. your favorite cookie was Mrs. Field. <laughs> ah, that means I got the last one right. Yes. All right, right so. so Rhett, yeah. you have two, correct? Oh, okay, that's not great. And Link, you have one correct. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? He I only got, got Mrs. One? Fields. Correct. Mm. And what? And here, I'm, I'm going. You're I'm, the cookie captain. He's <laughs> <laughs> kind of sideways, man. Now these chips ahoy, we didn't even taste. Was that even in the batch? It chips ahoy. We, we, can, we can go over it in more. Let's All right, go we're going to go over it in more, but for now, we congratulate Mrs. Fields. You got a dang good cookie. And me, the captain of cookies. <laughs> Thank you for <laughs> liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Tammy, and we're at the Autobahn Insectarium in New Orleans. And we're about to eat cricket cookies. And it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel of mythicality. That's the spirit. Yes. Click the top link to watch us find out which nut milk is the best for cookie dipping in good mythical lore. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. The tour of Mythicality will continue in the comfort of your own home. The forthcoming tour special includes the live performance plus a never before seen documentary film. Pre-order it now on iTunes.